the Royal Navy's new astute class submarine is a killing machine. Actually getting a 7,800-ton submarine in the water is far more complex than one might expect. Once completed the Royal Navy's HMS Anson will be one of the most sophisticated underwater vehicles ever built. Displacing 7,800 tons, the 97-meter-long hunter-killer submarine is scheduled to launch next year. She is the fifth of a planned seven astute class boats that have described as a key component for Great Britain's naval strategy. Anson recently entered the final stages of construction and commissioning, and on Monday was rolled out of what had been her home for the past decade and lowered into the waters of B-Systems site in Barrow in Furness, Cumbria. Moving the submarine was no easy task and the Royal Navy reported that it required a delicate two-day operation. Now that the ship is finally in the water, she'll begin the final testing and commissioning of systems and then prepare for her first dive. That will involve submerging most of the boat in a special dry dock before leaving Cumbria next year and joining her four sisters in Faslan, home of the Royal Navy Submarine Force. The future crew of Anson will be present and are a key to those tests. They have been increasingly involved in the construction and fitting out process. The boat was formally named by her sponsor, Julie Wheel, just before Christmas of last year. The Royal Navy said that the final stages of the boat's completion were complicated by the pandemic, and COVID-19 placed particular challenges and demands on the complex operation to lower the hunter-killer into the water. Everyone present, including both service members and civilians, had to comply with COVID regulations and that included the wearing of sealable face masks. Actually getting a 7,800-ton submarine in the water is far more complex than one might expect. The rollout itself from the dock hall is a slow and delicate operation, checking that the cradles and submarine hull are not subject to stress as the boat is rolled over the transitions onto the ship lift, explained Commander David Bing Crosby, who has been named the boat's first commanding officer. Anson's submariners were joined by B staff during the operations. Lowering the ship lift also takes time, with the naval architects ensuring that all the tanks have the correct contents, so the boat maintains the correct trim as she floats, added Crosby. As she is lowered, the ship's staff are conducting rounds, leak checks, and looking for floods. Crosby and his future crew operated critical positions, such as running the diesel engines for power, changing the ventilation states, and bringing air into the ballast tanks for buoyancy. Once the boat was afloat, she was cold moved to wet dock key with the assistance of tugs for training leading to the next milestone, which will include the trim dive. Commander Crosby said the efforts of the combined team of B staff and his submariners have been nothing short of amazing. He continued, the launch marks a significant milestone in the delivery of HMS Anson to the front line. I am extremely encouraged by the strong relationships my team and the RN are maintaining with the B-Build team and their contracted support. These teams will ensure HMS Anson leave Barrow in 2022 set 12 for seat trials ahead of what will be a long and successful operational life. Meet the Astute Class the Astute class boats are the largest and the most advanced attack submarines ever constructed for the Royal Navy. Each of the submarines costs reported £1.6 billion to build. The class was the first of nuclear submarines worldwide to be designed in a 3D computer-aided environment, while the boats have been outfitted with many technological firsts, including not having an optical periscope. Instead, High specification video technology has been employed, which enables the crew to scan the horizon and get a 360 degree view to address potential threats. Each measures 97 meters long, 32 feet, and the boats of the class are powered by a Rolls Royce PWR2 Core H reactor and fitted with a pump jet propulsor, the same reactor that was developed for the Vanguard class ballistic missile submarines. The nuclear reactor, which powers the submarines and has a 25-year lifespan before needing to be refueled, can be used to recycle air and water.
This provides a theoretically unlimited endurance for the submarine, which could circumnavigate the globe without surfacing. Unlike other nuclear-powered submarines, the Astute class was developed to utilize state-of-the-art anti-acoustic tiles, which reportedly allow the vessels to glide through the water almost silently. The little noise the submarines give off has been compared to that of a baby dolphin.